What's going on, everybody? This is going to be episode two of the collection buy, and I got a couple local uh, random pickups as well I'm going to share with you guys. If you guys haven't saw episode one, go ahead and check it out. It was my previous video, so we're going to jump right into it. So I'm going to share the two local pickups that I did separate um, after I do the rest of the collection. Um, this one has a pretty funny story, so stay tuned for that. It's pretty funny. And then... This one, I got some good tips on both of these to help you get more video games and uh, some tactics that I use to uh, maintain more video games. So let's get into the Xbox, OG Xbox. I remember my older brother, uh, back in the day, is back in like 2005, we got this original Xbox, or he got the original Xbox for Christmas. And then I got the PlayStation 2 for Christmas, brand new in the box. And I remember my first game on the PS2 is Madden 2005. I was a huge Madden fan. I used to play a lot of Madden back then. And I was really into football, so still am. But anyways, OG Xbox, really happy to see that. I haven't had one of these in a long time. And then here's some games. We've got a nice little stack of games. I'll tell you guys how much I paid for everything at the end. We've got Serious Sam. And all these games are complete in box and just real quick, if you guys ever see anything that I have, you know, when me sh when I show these videos, please reach out to me on Instagram. I'll hook you up. Like if you're if you're a collector, um, or you just want the game to play, whatever, um, reach out to me. I'll hook you up. You got Tony Hawk's Underground Two, Leisure Suit Larry. It's a pretty unique game. It goes for like fifteen bucks. I'll pop comps up for some of the stuff. Conquer, Live and Reloaded. That's a good one. Jade Empire, Kung Fu Chaos, Serious Sam 2, Doom 3, Collector's Edition, The House of the Dead, Grabbed by the Ghoulies. So if you ever see like the exclusive only on Xbox and you're out in the wild, flea markets, garage sales, wherever, you buy video games, definitely look into the exclusive games because they could be worth some pretty good money. Then we got Mortal Kombat Deception. This is the Collector's Edition. This game pushes like 25 to 30. Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition. I remember playing this on PlayStation 2. One of my favorite games. One of the best games of all time, really, in my opinion. Then we got Spawn Armageddon. Then we got Mortal Kombat Armageddon. So, really good stack of uh, Xbox games there. And then it did come with like some filler games that I'm not going to show. But um, some of those games, there's like Halo 1, Halo 2. I'll bundle with the Xbox. So that should do pretty good. And then we've got a Sega Dreamcast. I don't come across a lot of uh, Dreamcast stuff. It's pretty rare. Pretty uncommon. But yeah, we got the Sega Dreamcast. The last one I sold of this, I'll pop a comp up. I sold it for like 140 with a couple lower end games. So that's what I'm going to look to get out of that. Then we got Plasma Sword. This is a good game to look out for on the Dreamcast. That holds some good value. Then we got Heavy Metal. This is another good game to look out for. Holds some really good value. And then we've got Sega Smash Pack, Fighting Force 2, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, UFC, and then Shemnu, Shemu, Shemu. Roast me in the comments. But yeah, this game's pretty good. And it is complete with the passport and the manual and all four discs. So that should go for, you know, I'll pop the comp up on the screen. And then we got a Sony ps2 slim silver that should go for like 120 and i might keep that for my personal but i'm not too sure i'm really debating guys on starting a ps2 collection i am not sure let me know down in the comments if i should or not i would already have like three games that i would put in my collection manhunt 2 manhunt 1 and then fatal frame um, i would really be going for like a horror collection um for ps2 only that's like the only games i would be really interested in playing and then a couple others of course and then we got a sega genesis with two controllers mortal kombat sonic one and two i'll bundle these i have two segas so i'll bundle one sonic game with each sega that i have and those should sell good and then here's another good item to look out for that's worth pretty good money sonic and knuckles this one does have the cover as you see and this thing pushes like 25 bucks alone and then we got Mortal Kombat complete in box with the hang tab. That should go for like at least 15 to 20 bucks. So 
Let me tell you guys the funny story on this one, and then we'll get into the next couple local buys that I got. So with this first pickup, I'm gonna share with you guys, the person had this 3DS XL posted for $115, and I offered him $100, and he accepted it. And I asked the question, do you have any more video game stuff? And he told me, yeah, he has some Switch games and a couple DS games, and we came to a total of $220 for everything. So let me show you what I got. So we got the 3DS XL right here. Now, if you find the new 3DS XL, those ones go for a lot more money, but the 3DS XL still goes for really good money. The last one I sold just like this was $175 with free shipping. So that should make a pretty good chunk of the money back. And then he uh, had Pokemon Y that's like a $25, $30 game. And we got Pokemon Diamond version. That's like a $35, $40 game, 35 bucks. And then the Switch games that he had, he had Let's Go Eve Pokemon. And it came with the Pokeball as well. So even if you just find this Pokeball right here, this thing is pretty rare as well. Um, this thing goes for like $60 to seventy dollars just just for this right here so bundling it with the game i'm looking to get at least a hundred to like a hundred and five dollars for both so that's that's pretty cool pickup right there and then we got uh zelda breath of the wild for the switch and then pokemon shield so that's a pretty good deal now this deal right here was the more it was kind of funny so how it came about so this guy posted this 3ds or 3DS, 2DS, and it had Pokemon Sun with it, and he had it listed for $25. So I offered him, um, you know, the $25. He said someone was already gonna be picking it up the next day in the morning, and I was already gonna be buying like two, like one Switch game from him, because he was listing his Switch games for $15 each, which is obviously super cheap, and they were good games, Mario games. He only posted one though. So I was like, hey, I'll pick up your DS and your, you know, your Mario game. And he's like, oh, someone's already coming to pick this up. You know, he said he's buying it for his kid or his son. Um, and I was like, all right, well, if he doesn't come, I'll give you $40. So that's like a tactic that I use. I ask them um, or I offer a little more money. So he's asking 25. I said, I'll give you 40 and I'll pick it up and I'll pick up the other game as well. But he was, you know, pretty stern on he's gonna sell to the other person because he already told him and that it's gonna be for his kid. So I was like, all right, whatever, you know? So he's like, I have a bunch more Switch games that I'm gonna be listing for 15 each if you're interested. I was like, yeah, uh, can you send me a picture to my phone? So, you know, he, he sent a picture of the games that he had. I told him how much do you want for everything? He said 120 bucks. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you. And then I said, are you sure you don't wanna sell the DS? You know, I'll give you 40 bucks for it on top of the 120 so we can do 160. And he still said the same story. Um, and then uh, let me tell you what happened after I show you guys these games. So we got Pokemon Sun. And then this was the game I originally saw in his post for 15 bucks, Bowser's Fury. So all these games are going to range at least 25 a piece. Besides this one right here, Splatoon 2. That's like a you know $25 game. Then we got Mario Odyssey. So for $15 each, I mean, that's you know, steel, Smash Bros. Ultimate, Luigi's Mansion, Super Mario Maker 2, Let's Go Pikachu, and the cool thing is it came with a Pokeball. So that'll go for at least $100 alone. Then we got Minecraft, Dungeon, Arms, it's like a $30 game. And Pikmin 3 Deluxe, and then the one that just fell, um, Dark Souls. So I, I make this purchase, and you know I pay him his money, and then uh, about I'll say probably like 30 minutes later, the guy reaches out to me, texts me, and says, "Hey, do you still want the 2DS?" The other guy said that he's buying it for his son, but I looked at his profile, and it looks like he has a 2DS listed for like $130. So it was another, it was a reseller saying to the to the buy to the seller um like hey i'm gonna buy this 2ds but it's gonna be for my son but then the seller looks at his page and sees that he's already selling a 2ds and a bunch of other video game stuff and he didn't like that 
So he went and sold it to me. So he's like, if you want it, you can come get it. I was like, yeah, heck yeah. So I thought that was pretty funny. So this other reseller lies and you know tries to secure the deal. And that's a tactic some people will use saying that they're getting it for their kid or whatever. Um, you know, people gotta do what they gotta do, but we ended up getting the 2DS. I paid him $40 for it. He's happy. And he's gonna hit me up and tell me, um, you know, if he has any more video game stuff. So he has my phone number and I told him when I got back, I followed up with them when I got home and I sent him a text message saying, hey, thank you for the deals. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, if you have any PlayStation, Nintendo, Xbox, you know, did the whole list, please reach out to me um, and we can meet up again. So I thought that was pretty funny. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you guys sticking all the way to the end. I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Peace out.